welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, this is our 2022 Jumping Jack 6x12 with an 8 foot tent um, walk around. So we just wanted to show you guys what we do. Um, we, for those of you guys who don't know, we have a 2020, 2023 Can-Am uh, Maverick X3 that we put on top of this. Um, and we pull it with our uh, 2012 F-150. Um, so this is a perfect setup for us because we like going off grid. Um, we don't need like a huge trailer because where we go, we probably break some windows and stuff, get into our, our spots. So um, we love it because we can go off road. Um, we're not too worried about um, where we're going and we don't really have to cater where we're going to our trailer. So come on in. Um, so for this trailer, um, we have the eight foot tent. Um, so that means that each, obviously it's eight feet long. Um, it's a little over like 12 feet wide once it's all pulled out. Um, so in here we have our bed extenders. So we make this, it's a little bit over a full size bed. Um, and then we have this um, like one, like probably two inch uh, cool foam mattress topper on top of it. And then um, we honestly keep all this bedding in here. So this is a little bit overkill for what we probably need in here. Um, but we just kind of have it in here. So we just kind of use it underneath. Um, so we have our table. We have, this can either go um, this horizontal ways or it can go um, front to back, uh, depending on whether we have another bed over here. Um, for this setup, we just have our bed on this side and then we obviously just have room for our dogs right here and tons of space for us to walk around. So it's perfect. For the inside for our table, um, we always have it in this position um, just because it's a lot easier. We don't have the need to have a bunch of cards or anything, but the table can go up like this um, and just kind of make the area a little bit better. Um, we like the table in particular. Um, and then down here at the very bottom of this, uh, you can see there's a screw right here. Um, this holds the bracket on for the table, this bracket right here. Um, and if you unscrew that, you can turn it 90 degrees and you can have a table that's a little bit longer. Um, we prefer it this way just because of the way we have our table set up. Um, it makes it so that we have a little bit more room this way with our box. So out here, um, we have our bed extenders. These are what the bed extenders look like when they're um, not covered in bedding. Um, so this is just two pieces. It's the bed and then the actual uh, pad. Um, so the way these work, this is how it is inside too, is we just kind of hook it in like this um, so that it's flat. And then you just stick this top one in to make a chair. Um, or obviously our bedding is both um, sideways. So you just stick that in, it's super easy. Um, so that's our tent fully pulled out. We have our light posts, um, which is super awesome um, and at the nighttime. And then we have our awning normally. Um, and that, the post is just hooked on by that little hook. And then that's a pole. Um, are these are our Morai two-step um, stairs. These are normally for like a regular trailer. Um, we use self-tapping screws on these bad boys. Um, and then we really like them because they have these pins down here at the very bottom um, and they allow us to adjust uh, they allow us to adjust these feet for wherever we're at um, and yeah and then we have our a piece of turf that we have had for years that we just love to have out here because it keeps the trailer a little bit cleaner um, the other thing another concern that we've had and seen is that a lot of people are very concerned about whether this is going to have a lot of shake and movement to them. Um, my husband and I are very, we're a little hefty. Um, so that was definitely a concern for us. Um, but we really don't have to worry about it too much um, because we have this stabilizing jack in the back and we really did not think that it was gonna do much, um, but it does a ton. Um, other things we have here is we just have like our random uh, kitchen setup and stuff. We're actually camping with Vinny's dad this, this time so we don't have like our full setup uh, right now. Um, obviously our cooler. We love these lifetime coolers from Walmart. Um, they're like a, they're like a Yeti cooler dupe kind of, I guess. Um, and we love them. We've had them for years. Um, yeah. Okay. So around here at the back, um, 
we actually were very thankful. We have, um, Lady's dad was able to weld us a um, custom uh, rack for our cans. Um, like I said, we have a side by side, so we kind of need a lot of gas. Um, this is perfect for us in the winter time. We have two cans and then in here we have two propane cans, one for our grill and one for our um, buddy heater in the winter time. This thing is so warm in the winter, it's amazing. We've been camping at like 20 degrees and we've had our buddy heater on like low and it does the job, it keeps it at like 70 degrees. Um, another cool thing about the jumping jack is back here, kind of under this, and we'll show this in a different video when we have our full kitchen set up, but back here um, is this two piece panel right here. Um, it actually folds out into a decent sized table um, and that's usually what we use to cook on. Um, it's really nice because it's metal, it's not gonna break, it's not gonna do anything and it can definitely take some abuse. So we love that. So another thing about this jumping drop that's really cool, um, we showed you the front um, propane bottles. Um, so back here, um, there's this little tiny square right here. Um, sorry, I'm kind of crunched down here but there's a little tiny hole right here um, that you can put your hose through for your, um, directly from your prop propane tank up there. Uh, if you have it on the ground, you can just get a longer hose. Um, also, with these bars being here, there's some up in the front as well. Um, sorry, real life with the dogs. <laughs> um, there's some up in the front as well, um, but they kind of, they're a little bit, like, they're like an inch deep um, and they're kind of a tripping hazard. Um, and so to make this a little bit warmer and to just make it a little bit more safe, I guess, for us, um, we just put this one inch um, rigid board. It's just a foam board insulation, so it's super inexpensive um, fix. And it just kind of makes it a little bit more solid. Um, so you can see right here, um, and we taped it, we taped, Velcroed it down? Velcroed it, yeah. Yeah, Velcroed it down. Um, so I won't be able to pull it out really, but um, yeah, if you can just imagine like, we cut it pretty close and then there's Velcro down. So, um, so we can kind of, can you sit down please? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we velcro it down so I can't, I can't even get that out of there if I wanted to without using, using a tool. Um, so there's that. And then also the same thing with the wings. Um, there's five grates on each side. Um, and they look like this under the bed. Um, the bed pads have a solid bottom on them, so you don't actually feel those. But with the foam boards, um, it just makes it a little bit warmer in the winter and helps the trailer keep the heat in a little bit better. Thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy all of our content. Um, please like and subscribe, and we can make more content. Thanks, guys.